Is there an ideal place on earth, where money would no longer be the sovereign lord? Where work would not be a way to earn one's living but a way to express oneself? Where education is given for discovering oneself rather than for certificates? Where people do not amass personal wealth but create sustainable communities? Is there a place of an unending education, of constant progress, and a youth that never ages? Yes, there is. It's Oroville, an experimental town that was established on a spiritual philosophy of peace, harmony, knowledge and upliftment. 53 years down the line, Oroville has emerged as the universal town, offering emphatic lessons in unity and diversity across nationalities, cultures and castes, in focusing on one's inner self, spirit and the community, in devising technologies and materials that belong to the earth, in redefining ways of sustenance, and enjoying unabashed freedom. Oroville is situated around 15 kilometers from the city of Pondicherry, which is in south of India. The story of Oroville begins more than 50 years ago when the mother of Oroville, Mira Richard, dreams of a place where humanity can live united, in peace and in harmony with nature, beyond of all beliefs, political opinions and nationality. She followed the principles of Sri Aurobindo, one of the leaders of the Indian independence movement, also a philosopher, poet and spiritual writer who then developed the new approach of integral yoga. Together, with the help of volunteers from all walks of life, they draw a plan in the shape of a spiral galaxy to build what will become Oroville and its different zones, cultural, industrial, residential and international. The intention of the project is to provide a framework in which humanity can develop their full potential not only physically and materially but also spiritually. For the next few years, work on Oroville progressed rapidly under the mother's able guidance. And finally, on February 28, 1968, the township was formally inaugurated. In the years that followed, regardless of which government was in power, Oroville continued to flourish. The pioneering residents of the township joined hands with the local villages and got to work. Accommodations were built, wells were dug, gardens were planted and schools set up. From an arid desert, the Orovillians have managed to create a lush forest that sometimes looks like wild jungle where, today live more than 2,000 residents of 70 different nationalities as well as an abundant biodiversity of animals, birds and insects of all kinds that provide a permanent background music concert. Nonetheless, it does have a pretty town hall, unconventional looking school buildings, alternative farms, plenty of garden restaurants, and a clutch of single-story houses. However, the defining feature of Oroville has to be its absolutely surreal meditation hall, Matri Mandir. Considered the soul of Oroville, Matri Mandir is an elaborate gold-plated sphere that took 37 years to complete its work. The structure comprises 1,415 large gold discs and is suspended above 12 petals or themed meditation rooms, each of which is flanked by a themed garden. Every visitor to Oroville eagerly looks forward to a visit inside the Matri Mandir. There is no deity, no flowers or incense sticks, no image and no ritual. You just sit on white mats lied on white carpeted floor, wearing white socks and stare at the large crystal sphere which is sparkling white due to the sunlight falling on it from a hole above. That 20 minutes of silence can provoke existential questions in you. No two houses are the same in Oroville. The settlements are as diverse as the inhabitants who include architects, environmental activists and hippies. Organized into a hundred work units, each community develops a particular project in fields ranging from agriculture to education, health, holistic medicine, crafts, scientific research, IT or architecture. With more than 50 years of experience and the support of the Indian Ministry and institutions like UNESCO, Oroville has managed to build a social and economic system that is approaching stability. Today, when the idea of sustainability has globally taken center stage, Oroville ends up becoming a model because of its eco-friendly, cost-effective lifestyle and vernacular architecture. Having enjoyed international acclaim, there, however, still exist discussions on its success and failure in different matters and the feasibility of the replication of the model in other contexts.